Pope Galatius declared 14th February to be Saint Valentine's Day at the end of the 5th century. But what is the history behind Saint Valentine's Day? Did it originate from a pagan festival? Did it originate as a means of commemorating a martyred saint named Valentine? Or did it originate from a poem written by Geoffrey Chaucer? A lot of information has been lost in history and there are a lot of conflicting stories, so the history is not clear. Valentine's Day is a day where people exchange gifts such as flowers, chocolate, teddy bears and other gifts and they also can take their loved ones to dinner dates. But what is the history behind Valentine's Day? Number one, there was this pagan festival called Lupercalia which was held by Romans and it took place for a very long time. The festival involved young men who will strip naked and they'll slaughter a dog and a goat and then they'll take the strips of these hides, dip them in blood and spank women. It was believed to promote fertility. The story further goes that women will put their names in jars and men will randomly pick the names and the name that they will pick they will be matched made with that woman and they will be together until the next festival. However, some of them could fall in love and will have eventually ended up getting married. Now, the second story is about a martyred saint named Valentine. Valentine used to be a very common name in those days. So the story of the martyr who inspired this story is not clear. But, but there are two stories which are believed to have influence the day the first story is about a man named valentine who refused to convert into paganism and roman emperor claudius ordered for him to be executed but before he was executed he was placed under house arrest or he was in jail though it's not clear so this man healed the daughter of his jailer who was blind it is reported that after that miraculous happening, the jailer and his household converted into Christianity. And before this Valentine was executed, legends have it that he wrote a letter to this blind girl who could now see and signed it, your Valentine. And right now it is a very common, it's a very common, um, Thing that is written on cards which has been signed your valentine the second story is about a priest named valentine although we are not sure if it's the same valentine who did the miraculous sign or if it's another valentine but both of them were killed on 14th february in different years or if it's the same one it was that same day now this valentine used to secretly hold wedding ceremony for soldiers and Emperor Claudius had banned soldiers from getting married because he believed that married soldiers did not make good soldiers. So this priest went against the order and when Emperor Claudius heard about it, he decided that the priest should be executed. Now, this priest used to wear uh, an amethyst, amethyst ring with a cupid engraved on it and this is how soldiers used to identify him it is also um also the story okay the story further goes that he used to cut love shaped from a parchment and give them to soldiers to remind them of their vows to each other and also god's love there are also other Valentine stories, but these are the ones that people believe could have inspired the Valentine's Day. Now, um, in the Middle Ages, there was this um, poet named Geoffrey Chaucer. He is believed to have linked Valentine's Day to love um, through a poem that he wrote named The Parliament of Fowls. Now, in England and France, it was believed that 14th February was the time that birds started mating. And we have that poem that Geoffrey Chaucer wrote. He wrote it to, he dedicated it to a 15-year-old king 
and his 15 year old fiance they were engaged and they were celebrating their first um, engagement anniversary um there were also other now what is the connection between this pagan festival rupecalia and saint valentine's day the one that was set apart for the martyr saint now people believe that when pope galatius came into power at the end of the fifth century it tried to christianize the pagan festival lupecalia celebrations used to be held on 15th february but some people are claiming that it used to be held between 13 to 15 but a lot of sources is 15th february now saint valentine's is on 14th february now um people um have conflicting stories they believe that pope galatius tried to christianize the Lupecalia holiday by replacing it with Valentine's. Some scholars have refuted this claim and they say that Lupecalia is nowhere related to St. Valentine's Day. Now, the big question is, should Christians celebrate St. Valentine's Day? Okay, so I... I normally believe that you know in Christianity we deal with agape love and agape love is the highest form of love the word agape has been mentioned severally in the Bible and also we see that the actions of God shows us that he loved humanity so much if you look at the book of John 3 16 he gave out his only son as a way to bridge that relationship between humanity and him through his son and also um first corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 onwards we find that um the scriptures here has given the the scripture has given the attributes of love see how christ himself demonstrated this love now um it is like in a covenant marriage where people are married they should be celebrating love every other day buying chocolate buying gifts and buying other things should be done every other day like it can be done on 14th february it can be done on 15th february on march on march april or any other year like a wife is supposed to be respectful and be submissive to the husband that will be that will demonstrate a love for him and on the other hand the man is supposed to love the wife jesus christ love the church Things such as showing love to your husband and wife through um, buying gifts and doing acts of services, words of um, as affirmation or, or other kind of things should be a daily thing or any other time that you feel that should be done. 